Hello and welcome back to Graveyard Keeper and let's continue. Now, let's take a quick peek at what we have here. The astrologer wants us to go into the church cellar and do stuff. Uh, so we have a we have a bunch of stuff which we need to unlock uh, on our uh, like graveyard, like at home. We have to do a bunch of stuff. Uh, we have a bit of things to bring to people. Merchant needs a hiccup grass. We have the hiccup grass. We just need to bring it to him. Uh, we need to make an iron axe and few other stuff. We need to help Clotho, the, the old witch, um, restore her memory and we need five honey pots for dig. Wagner needs some paper and ink. Yeah, so we, we need to fix and get some stuff done and unlocked. Uh, I think what we should do super quickly is to run down here and let's check you. We need two planks and four simple iron pots. Uh, it's the sermon today. Um, we'll see how well it's going to go. I'm not sure. Um, and pla two planks, two planks, two planks. There we go. Then we go down and open up here. Could we open this other one up? Yeah, we can. This is better to actually open up because it's a bit closer. There we go. Let's talk to this fella. Hold still! Who are you? I'm the graveyard keeper and prior of this church. Mind your business. I have a dagger and gladly use it. You may have a dagger, but I have a sword. Okay, but you should know I fight like a beast to the death. Ah, I'm ready to die. Are you? On the one hand, he looks dangerous, but on the other hand, I'm definitely not ready to become a murderer yet. <laughs> I won't fight you, but stay away from my property here. Ah, I have no use for rotten flesh and old books. Okay, so we need to try to convince him. Um, and yeah. We have some work to do with him. Uh, we need to unlock a lot more of the the debris blocking um, like which is blocking uh, a bunch of stuff. So we need we do need to fix a lot of stuff down there. Let's see. We should have. Bishop over here, yes, we do, we do. Good. Talk. So, what I'm supposed to do, as you are now a cleric, uh, as you are a cleric now, you should be involved in our blessed activities. I've decided to open a soup kitchen for the poor near the cathedral. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh, it's the double sneeze. It'll help me improve my image. Apparently, when they are hungry, my good looks stand out more. Ha <laughs> ha. Yeah, he... Prideful is... Mm. So I need a lot of cheap bowls, and it seems you have a, have clay deposits just in front of your church. Make some bowls for me, and I'll give you a cleric's beginner's guide, and it'll give you your first few... blue points to start with. I have gotten a bunch of them already, but sure. Also, I gladly buy any bread you have for the soup kitchen. For a special price, of course. I am, after all, rep representing his will. 
So we now can get the sand and clay. Super good. Uh, right, he, he buys any bread uh, I make. I don't want to sell any bread. I need some clay. I'm not sure exactly how much, but I am going to need a some clay. Oh, my rusty shovel broke. Uh, right, I should probably just not make... I, I shouldn't make... Uh, like more of those. I should just like not. Uh, what I'm going to do is this. This might seem a bit silly, but you'll see why I'm going to do this. And yes, I'm using up a lot of energy doing this. But as I said, it will become apparent why I'm doing this. Here we go. That should be enough. I should probably make uh, some more flitch. Here we go. Uh, and as long as you stay below 50% energy, uh, you're fine when it comes to the debuff because it doesn't work. Unless you have more than 50% energy. Uh, right, we actually need to... F we need to get uh, more... I, I need three more. Three more! Please, please, please in time I might actually miss this ceremony um, but we'll see hopefully I'm I'm in time I need some need some more of this we should maybe make it in time hopefully we actually make it uh, <clears throat> the speed potion would be great at this point but we don't have it so we can make it but we don't have it I haven't actually looked into uh, candelabra. I should. I'm ju just going to. Now, now we have. Ooh, okay, we actually made it. Uh, I did that uh, just to get 100% uh, chance to succeed. That's the only reason why I did it. Uh, our church is great. Nice! We get two, and now let us pray for this blessing. This is where the blessing comes in hand, uh, comes into play, and we get two more. Okay, so we get four. Uh, so we actually need to do this three times, and we get a bit of money. It's not a lot. It's dependent on the the graveyard quality and the success chance for the sermon is dependent on the church quality. So, yeah. But yeah, we actually got the, the success chance to get to 100%. That is super good. Let's see, what do we need to unlock here? Oh, right, we need a wooden beam. Oh, that is expensive. Yeah, 
Yeah, that is expensive. Should unlock that one. And... Alchemy rack, sure. Uh, let's see, what do we have? Could shove the story away in here. Let's put the faith in here as well. And other than that, I think we should just keep it as is. Um, we need a bunch of simple iron parts, a ton of wooden planks, a bunch of nails as well. To make all the different kinds of um, uh, buildings in here, so yeah. Uh, hopefully, it will be enough but we'll see uh, but what i need to do at this point is uh try to get the donkey up and running again and um, oil his wheels Harvest this. Uh, I now have carrots for him, so <laughs> it shouldn't be any problems. Getting like stuff up and running. Uh, I think he won't do anything until you grease his wheels, so we might have to do that. Uh, let's go down here and check. Yeah, you can. You have to do 10 at a time. See, that wasn't so hard. Ha! But this is only the beginning. Do you really need to do that here? Yes, I do. Uh, what right do you have to complain? This isn't your road anyway. Enjoy my many fast. I used to think you were a nice donkey. I am, but not for you. Yeah, yeah, he, he's going to wait there until um, we do all the things he wants. Um, put away the stuff. For now, let's... Did I put the honey over here? Yes, I did. Let's... Bring it over to this one. Just so it's separated. And uh, let's go to sleep. <laughs> yeah, if you have taken damaged, uh, damage, you uh, heal by sleeping or eating food that gives you health back or potions or whatever gives you HP back um, now I think what I should do is try to fix stuff in um, the church cellar so for that we are going to need a bunch of um, we are going to need a lot of um, wood for that all oh, right I need a shovel shovel right um, let's see if we can make one yeah we can make basically all of the stuff 
I might need another one of these. I need two axes. Because I need to give one away as well, so... And then one shovel. And one pickaxe. Now, I don't think we can destroy them. No, we can't. So, these are just going to clog up the system for now. Which is a bit annoying, but uh, it is what it is. I'm going to shove these away because they are really, really, like, inefficient. Whoops, wrong. That was not the correct way to toss those ones away. And... Let's see, we have made these. Let's equip my one. Put that one away. And there we go. Yeah, uh, the reason why I'm doing this is because we need a lot of planks. So, yeah. This is going to take a lot of um, glitch. And a lot of energy. And most likely I will get the debuff. Uh, see what do we need to do we need to make a ton of simple iron parts for that we actually need way more fuel than we have Yeah, this, this might take some time. Here we go. We have spent a certain amount of energy, which means we actually... actually have the debuff again so that's fine there we go and get digging up some of the tree stumps is actually way more efficient than cutting down the trees which is uh, interesting There we go. Put 
Put those ones away, put that away, and let's go shove a bunch of stuff away into the church. Something wrong with the lighting for that tree, it seems. Yeah, something wasn't right with that one. Or, or isn't right with that one. Uh, interesting. That was interesting. Put this away here. And the fat should be used. And the bat wings need to be here. And that's it. Now, how many planks do I actually need? I need... I, I have to make the hand mixer. Let, let's see what this is. This might be the study table. That means I don't need... Yeah, it's study table. Uh, which means I don't need to make that. And... The alchemy workbench can't be made just yet because I need the advanced conical flasks, which I haven't researched. Uh, I haven't unlocked them yet, and the church workbench. So I need, for the hand mixer I need six, and <clears throat> the alchemy mill I need six. So I have basically ten more than I, I need in total for the moment. Uh, but yeah, I need, uh, let's see, I need uh, a lot of simple iron parts and some complex iron parts. Then I need like 30 nails and 20 flitch, more or less. Okay, uh, yeah, we should uh, rush off to the trader in, um... oh my god, uh, I, I just remembered one thing that I, I'm not sure if it's going to work, but I, I uh, want to test. It might work. For that we need one fat. Uh... Let's sleep a small amount just to get like a bit of energy. Uh, we should have enough time to get to the trader at least. Uh, and what we're going to do is just give him the hiccup grass so. He should be, be there long enough to talk to him, but we'll see. Stay, 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 stay. Talk, pick up grass. Oh, thank you. I'll eat it right now. <laughs> the strange taste. Hmm. Now I taste nothing. Wait a second. Let me take a bit of the spicy cookie I have in my pocket. Why, it's tasteless. I sent nothing at all. What did you give me? Just what you, what you asked for. Hiccup grass. 
Oh my god, it's happened! It's the curse! Once when I was young, I was told that I lose the most important thing in my life. Who told you that? An old fortune teller. I was traveling in with my caravan in the desert across the northern mountains. We stopped at an uh, oasis and there was this old woman. Everything she said came true. And now this. Sorry to hear that. Wait a minute. Do you know any witches? No. Hmm. The Inquisitor probably burned them all. If old Clotho is still alive, she was pretty old when I was young. Young. Uh, if she's still alive, she must be real. With you, you should find her in the center of the western swamp. Tell her that the merchant and priest who used to buy the love potions from her need help. I'm sure she'll remember us. You were a priest? No, my brother was the priest. I don't want to talk about it, so I'm counting on you, my friend. Bring me a cure for this curse. I'll see what I can do. Yeah, so... We need to talk to Clotho, but if you remember the Clotho person, which is the witch, she has lost her memory, so we can't really do anything for her. <laughs> um, yeah, as it is right now, she has lost her memories. We we need to help her regain her memory before we can actually help the trader further. Ding dong, bing bang bong, dig I am, am I? Maybe, I don't know. Seed oil. You know what, let's buy a seed oil. So we bought the oil. Should be what we need. Should be. If it's not, we can use it later on, so it's not a total waste. Uh, I just can't remember exactly how it is, to be honest. But we are getting to the end of the episode we're not there just yet but sort of soon now what should we do with you seed oil uh, let's see if it's actually going to work. It might. Oh, yes. I got some oil for your wheels. Great. Finally, I get a little peace and quiet. And I'll be able to think about my theories and ways to fight what's right. I already have all the wolf rats on my side. <laughs> yes. Uh, let's pick this one up. He's going to bring... We take a look at this. There's five left. We put in ten. So he's going to bring one more. And then we are going to have to... You look a little tired. Did you sleep well? Oh, sad. I miss sleeping so much. Turns out it's hard work being a graveyard keeper. And I have to do everything by myself. I remember something in old days. The keeper used to have a lot of helpers. They were a lot, a lot like me. But without the sense of humor. One of them should still be chained to the wall in the northern part of the church cellar. Oh, and one more thing. I don't remember why, but I'm quite sure you should never unchain him. Never. Yeah, so let's look at take a look at this corpse. Um, yeah, let's take a gamble, I think. Uh, I'm not sure we can do much else other than gamble on it. Uh, okay, it's actually going to work out. 
and then take the fat and we have a five quality corpse which is at this point actually really good it's it's not bad let's bury this one and see if we can we we need to remove the the corpses which um isn't good uh hopefully we can fix them but there's no guarantee we can what we should try to do is stack as much stuff away as possible like inventory management is super important you really really have to manage your inventory Uh, right, uh, what I should do is actually go up here and get some sand to be able to make glass. Five, ten, fifteen. And I think 20... No, no, let's go 30. That should be 30. Yeah, it is. Um, I can't remember exactly how much sand you need for one glass, but... Uh, you need two, right? Yeah, but, that, but that's uh, absolutely fine. Get some water. You have to do this to actually get some water. Bit annoying, but it is what it is. And we can make fifteen. Here we go. Uh, I need 12 wooden planks and then we need a bunch more simple iron parts and nails. What I should do is go to bed and sleep. And once we wake up, we will pause and end the episode. I think that's a good way of ending. Here we go. So, thanks for watching, goodbye, and I hope I'll see you in the next one.